can you go on air, an aeroplane? Aer aeroplane, I think that's it. A week after breast surgery. A week after? I didn't read that. I didn't see that. A week. Well, you can if you want to. Would you want to go a week after breast surgery? I'm not sure if that's. Um, I wouldn't particularly recommend going a week after breast surgery. I think that's a bit too soon, to be honest with you. Um, there's no sort of physical restriction to it. So you're not going to set off any alarms. They're not going to blow up on the aeroplane. People think they're going to pressure the aeroplane. They're going to explode or things like that. The aeroplane cabin's pressurized and the pressure to damage an implant would be so extreme. Your internal organs would would um, be damaged way before your implant will be damaged. Similarly with diving, people are about diving and the pressure and stuff. If there's any problems with the pressure, it's the pressure in the air in the pocket rather than the implant itself, which is there immediately after surgery. But there aren't any problems with flying. So you can get on an aeroplane and fly a week after surgery. No problem. Nothing's going to happen to you. No alarms are going to go off. I wouldn't recommend it, though, because you just had breast. Oh, it actually doesn't say implant, does it? It just says breast surgery. Um, it Your scars will be a bit red. You're in the healing phase. You may or not. You're just, you know, the skin takes about four days to heal. So your skin may be healed by then, but there might be little bits that the skin aren't healed. Depends on what breast surgery is. Well, actually, it doesn't depend on what breast surgery is. I think any breast surgery, I probably think a week is too, well, I do think, not probably, I think a week is too uh, soon to go on a flight for two reasons. Number one reason is that you, even though you think, oh, I'm just going to relax when I go away, it is quite stressful going on a flight. You've got to carry bags and things like that. You might say, oh, I won't carry heavy bags. It is a big deal. It's better than, it's a lot more than staying at home. It's like when people say, I want to go to work because I don't do anything at work. I just do the office job. It's quite a big deal to go back to work. So don't underestimate it. So I think that's the number one reason. Number two reason is that you'll be away from home. So if you have any redness, if you have any problems, I'll say to you, give us a ring and come back to clinic. You'll be like, well, I'm in Marbella. You know, that's a big deal. So, and it's just a nuisance. If I say, oh, that looks a bit red, give you some antibiotics. Oh, well, I'm in, you know, Guadalajara or wherever. Maybe a little bit more difficult to get antibiotics. So it's a lot easier to stay at home. So I would stay at home six weeks, eight weeks minimum. You'll probably still be a bit sore and might not be able to carry your bags, but at least you're out of the woods with regards to wound healing problems, infections and stuff like that. Um, so as I say, you can fly if you have to, but I probably wouldn't particularly recommend it. In fact, I definitely wouldn't recommend it a week after surgery. I think that's too soon. But um, make your own judgment and see. I'm not sure who that was from or if it was from my patient. or. But yeah, I think not a bit too soon a week. It's a big, big, it's a big, big deal having surgery, you know. Got to not underestimate it. You know, a week to fly a week afterwards. I think that's too soon. It's a big deal. It's a major life event. So most breast surgeries, anyway. Um, so don't underestimate. 